Okay. First off, I ain't a hoarder, nor a rodent. I know you have a stash hidden aboard this ship. Fetch it. Now. There ain't nothing to fetch! Peter Quill, tell the rodent that his selfishness endangers us all. Rocket, we could really use any extra units you have. How do I gotta spell it out for you? I. Don't. Got. No. Units! Fair enough. You believe his lies? Oh, I ain't lying. Now why don't you leave me alone and bother someone else instead? I intend to. Why does this thing look so sinister? I don't go into your room and touch your stuff, Quill. What? You hacked my visor and added a scoreboard to it while I was sleeping. Eh, that was different. I improved it. Also, did anyone tell you that you snore? I thought Drax was bad, but wow. Quill, you should really get that checked. You sound like a Torg. I don't snore that loud. <laughs> yeah, okay. So what is this thing anyway? It kind of looks like a metal face hugger. That is clearly a spinal control unit. Yes, right, of course, a spinal control thingy. Back on Half-World, Kree scientists use these to keep us super soldiers in line. Uh, they'd press a big, fun red button and zap! Instant obedience. Holy crap. Rocket. What exactly did the Kree do to you? They ripped me apart and rebuilt me over and over and over again until I became this half-finished thing they could mold and shape and control. Oh, Rocket, I had no idea. I mean, I knew the Kree Empire was desperate, but... Do you know what it's like to lose all control of your body? To be in constant pain, trapped inside yourself, and able to stop the horrible things you're doing? <laughs> that control unit made sure I did what I was supposed to do. Oh yeah, whether I wanted to or not. <laughs> A neat, furry little machine of death. Didn't take long to figure out I was better off not fighting it. Okay, then let's shoot this thing out the airlock. Have a little middle finger salute ceremony to the bastards who built it. Uh, yeah. I don't think I'm ready to let go of that part of me yet. Maybe one day. Are you 100% sure you want to keep it? What if it... Controls me? Eh, I decided a long time ago, Quill, that I would never let anyone control me again. As far as I'm concerned, this is just another useful piece of junk and a few bad memories. How many of you super soldiers were there on Half-World? When the Kree started, a hundred, maybe. By the time I escaped, just me and Lila. She was the first one not to die from the control unit. And Lila is also a... What? A raccoon? Or not a raccoon? You gotta understand. She was afraid of them, and the control unit made sure we stayed in line. That I stayed in line. Oh, that sounds... Awful. I can't imagine. So, I did what I do best. I found a way to overload the control unit. When the Blueskins let us out of our cage, kaboom! <laughs> I blew a hole into the side of the lab. What well, we didn't know, what I didn't know, was that the lab was protected by sentry bots. We got to the security fence, and Lila covered me while I hacked the modulator frequency, and uh, as soon as it opened, she pushed me through the door. I heard a die quill. Ah, oh, rocket. Doesn't matter now. Past is the past, right? And that thing, it's just a reminder. I'm sorry you had to go through all that rocket. For real. Hey, Gamora. You're supposed to knock. What? 
What are you doing? You're supposed to be looking for money. I did. And? I don't have any. Also, what's with the dolls? Do you value your life? <laughs> Is that a trick question? Okay, yes, mostly I value my life. Good. Then pretend like you saw nothing and get out. See you in the lounge? Out. Got it. Peter Quill, order the tree to open this door. I am certain that the rodent has hidden a stash of units within the latrine. He must have asked his well-meaning accomplice to retrieve the sum and hide it from us. Ugh, this investigation is pointless. Groot, you okay in there? Think you could open the door for a minute? What? Is that my toothbrush? Great. Now I need a new toothbrush. Any units I uncover will go directly to you, but I am unsure the others will do the same. So, you're taking the whole find the units thing pretty seriously. It is a serious matter. Yeah, yeah, I, I totally get it. We're all afraid of going back to prison. I am not afraid of going back to prison. Oh, good. Because I'm not either, mostly. In the kiln, I was surrounded by criminals, murderers, and thieves. They taught me a harsh lesson. Assassins and bounty hunters cannot be trusted. Okay. Wow. Don't you think maybe you're calling the kettle black? I have not mentioned kitchenware. It, it, it's an earth thing. What I mean is you're a convicted mass murderer. I used to be a pirate. We're not exactly upstanding citizens. You and I honor our word. I cannot say the same for the others. You could be wrong, Drax. You won't know until you give them a chance. We will see. Well, well, well.
for not Groot. I also vote for the creepy little beast. Two votes each. Peter? Well, I think Groot's more convincing in the traditional monster sense. Groot, buddy, first of all, thank you. And second of all, I want you to know we're gonna bust you out of there right after, okay? I am Groot. before we finish the transaction. We're like a hundred clicks from her base. You know how much I like scoping. Nope. Okay. Next time, I'm flying. Are you sure the leafy one is ready for this? Nope. He'll be fine. Don't you get all gloomy right now. Don't help. Because your constant complaining does? <laughs> you you are complaining about the short one complaining. Oh, you're way too soft to be a monster, big girl. Yes, you are. <laughs> hey, Groot. You think I got time to build a sonic umbrella? My Groot. I am Groot. No, we should not go. We got it. It's different. Hope that jacket of yours is waterproof. Of course. It had to be raining. Okay, here we go. I ever mentioned how much I hate rain? Hellbender's castle isn't even that far. That is not a castle. It is an impregnable fortress. So how do we impregnate it? Ask Peter! <laughs> Let's just get closer. We'll figure it out on the way. There is nothing to figure out. As beast merchants, we will easily gain access to Lady Hellbender. Good! We've already got a beast. All that's left is the merchant part. Good thing I put on my official merchant costume. There is no such thing. <laughs> Ew. Ah. Ouch! Ugh. Hey, is my jacket all right? At least you got a jacket. Some of us are soaking here. Less whining, more walking. Hey, Stormlord, we ain't seriously walking through this. It'll take forever in this storm. Stop complaining. The hardship will strengthen your spirit. We won't walk, we'll hike. It'll be fun. Woohoo! Team hiking trip. We got this. Just don't fall and we'll be fine. Agreed. Must face Lady Hellbender's rage head on! Almost sounds like you want to get hit by lightning. I would not expect a Chitauri trainer to understand the underlying value. The underlying value of getting killed? Of being direct, you child of subterfuge. What is your problem? Lady Hellbender scoffs upon duplicity and dishonor. Can we revoke it? Oh, that was way too close! Well played, Lady Hellbender! So we're still doing this? Yes! Focus! Keep an eye out on those big blue ones and we'll take cover when they hit. Or we'll get blown right off! Good advice!
Should have gone to Mako 4. Hey, check out the old resistance ship. Thing's been shot to hell. No doubt by this one and her Chitauri friends. We weren't friends. Ah, uh, guys. I am eh, not sure. It ain't moving now. It would be wary, Rudy. Uh, you know what? I survived freaking half world. I think I'm scared of some little. But ah! It's not alone. Get ready. around here looks like? We are outside Lady Hellbender's sanctuary. The creatures here are not her pets. They sort of do look like food. We're gonna be food if we don't climb out of here. Where the flark is she going? There's a trail going through the jungle! Try to find a way up! What does your magical mask reveal? Give me a second. This husk should be easier to climb than the muddy terrain. Didn't think I'd ever be shooting at a resistance ship. Drax, you could pull this reactor out gently, right? If it were combustible, the rodents would have shot it by now. He makes an excellent point. Well, I continue ripping it apart. No, no, no. I think we're good. Great. We made it halfway up. Now what? Maybe if we could lower that wing somehow. I ain't seen one of these fly swatters in years, working or otherwise. I'm going to get ahead! Try not to kill yourself! All right, Rocket. That wind control panel's all yours. Hope it still works. Great! Everyone watch out for beeping red lights. What? Why? This is a resistance ship. We'll be lucky if there's only one booby trap on it. Don't 
sound like no jelly thing. They say that Lady Hellbender's call echoes throughout the planet. That don't sound like no lady either. treasure. Oh, please don't let there be a space baron here. And hello, mystery goo. Monster eggs. Yay. Okay, so note to self. If it looks like a monster cave and smells like a monster cave, and you're on a monster planet... I took care of it. Fun spot. I knew I should have come down earlier. Wait, so where are you? Cave with X. Where are you? Still checking things out. This place is bigger than I thought. <laughs> nice hidden passage. Everything okay in there? Are you dead, Peter Quill? Or merely severely wounded? I ain't far, Quill. Scream really loud if you find another blob creature. You know I will. Hey, um... Listen, while it's just the two of us. What's up? Uh, you're busy exploring. Just meet me in the main cave when you're done looking around. All right. You're done exploring, Quill? Because, uh, I really need to talk to you. There's something, um, personal I need to get off my chest. What's going on? Look, I'm not sure about this whole selling Groot thing. Rocky, we've been over this. It's gonna be fine. Yeah, but what if it's not? What if something bad happens? Groot's the only real family I got, Will. He's the only one who's accepted me for me. You don't know what he's been through. The way he's been treated. Look, we're on our way to sell a monster. If you think there's no way Groot can... You're looking at this all wrong. You think she's gonna see what you see. A big scary tree that only says three words. Seems pretty accurate. If she looks on the inside and sees what I see, we're screwed! Groot ain't no monster, and I don't think he can even pretend to be. He ain't no good at scheming. All right, noted. But let's agree there are no perfect solutions here. I'll think about it, okay? It's all I ask, Will. Come on, the sooner we get to Lady Hellbender, the sooner we can focus on paying that stupid fine. Easy for you to say. You ain't the one getting auctioned out. We're fine. You worry too much. Still no sign of whatever made those claw marks? No, just some jelly dudes. Then it must be out on the hunt. You sure you want to get lost out here? Peter Quill, I have found the way forward. You <laughs> There's further proof that we are not welcome. 
Can you get us through here, Gamora? Whatever it takes to find Hellbender. Her name is Lady Hellbender. Yeah, Gamora. If we want an audience with her, we'll have to start showing some respect. This, from the guy who calls me Harlot Spawn of Thanos. An accurate description. We all know which Harlot Spawn at the first. Gamora's actually adopted, so not even that accurate. Uh, yeah. Also, not a harlot. Right, right. That, too. We'll need to find a way out of this jungle. Why? It's dry down here. Would you rather be wet than lost? Not particularly. I am eager to experience Lady Hellbender's legendary menagerie. <laughs> yeah, I bet you are. Oh, now where'd he go? Hey, Quill! You out laying your eggs or something? That is not how Terrans reproduce. Not how most Terrans reproduce. That's what makes our Quill so special. Interesting. I don't lay eggs! Hmm. Looks more alien than the other one. Uh, dead end. That's just right. Wait, is that Chitauri tech over there? Ask the Chitauri. No, no, it is. It's a retractable bridge. They used them at the prison I was in. Too bad the controls are on the other side of the giant chasm. We what do you do not have time to dawdle in this jungle. I shall hurl the creature over the chasm so he may activate the bridge. I may activate a hole through your face! Put me down! We're not throwing rockets. Very well. You sons of fucking chogs! How will we cross? Don't face Look the around, we'll find another way. Planet? There has to be something we can use. Maybe a tall tree? Wow! It is dark in here! If you bump into any monsters, let us know! Monster planet! Right! What's Jatari Tech doing on a backwater mud Look among the sports! Hey! My shooting's not aimless. Everything I do is with purpose and, you know, heroism. Drax, think you can topple this? Indeed. That obelisk looks promising. I may have angered them. Them? We're being hunted. Great. That's just great. All right. Let's try not to fall. That's your pep talk? <clears throat> Great place to leave a sculpture. Wait, hear that? Rise oh. up, people! Incoming! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Any last Yeah, 
I'm feeling all turned around as well. Where the flock are we? Just look around. There must be a path here somewhere. Why are we so sure this is the way? The statues here didn't walk into place. They were carried. Carried? By whom? For what purpose? I thought you were supposed to be the Lady Hellbender expert. There was nothing in the pamphlet about statues. All right, Gamora. Pretty sure it's this way. 50 units, Sussidane. He doesn't have 50 units. I... No way are we almost there. Still got like half a planet to walk across. Lady Hellbender could cross this jungle in seven strides. Sure she could. Or she would have flown over the mountains. Oh, she flies now. I heard she shoots lasers out of her eyes. Now we're talking. Ah, I have not heard that one. I heard there are actually nine of her. That's why they call it Sector Nine. Ha! That, that is preposterous. That one's preposterous. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. My problem. Or am I cutting us a path? You say that Lady Hellbender you are overreacting. I did not throw you. Oh. Then there should be no oh, problem. Nova bomb. I'm watching you. I haven't seen one you of these since the war. I remember it used to take a dozen ships to bring one down. A dozen ships, or one Chitari infantry. I'll take that one as a compliment. Still no sign of the fortress. Nope. Now what's the hold? Up? Fear. No. Just thinking someone else should cross the death pit first. Team Root of the merchandise. Only one of you is the merchandise. Plan A and plan B. Just go. No, you just someone go. go. Don't leaders usually cross first? Not if it's dangerous. Because I need to cover everyone. Right. See, it's fine. Perfectly safe. Fine. Do not even think of pushing the assassin. There are so many better ways to kill someone. Easy does it. says there's something down there. Monster. It doesn't matter. Of course it matters. It's unstable either way. Just move. Don't get used to it. Peter Quill, we are not alone here. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> Guys, anyone know what that is? Aw, 
Stumpy's running away. That its tail between its legs. I say we go after it. Finish the job. Anyone ever tell you you're scary? Yes. I mean, there's obviously a way out up there, which is exactly what we need. Plus, it'll give us eyes on where we need to go. Let's settle. Let's scale this down. Yeah, okay. How do we do that? Good question. Huh. Looks like there's one of those vintage workbench things back here. Okay, Rocky, let's see if this thing still works. Yeah, all right. Just better not get jumped by any monsters. Small marvel crafted. There you go. And it's done! One fine tech upgrade, hot and fresh! So, where are we? Waiting for you so that we can scale this contraption. Ah, right. Starting to wonder if I should be the one with a fancy visor. I wouldn't trust a thing you said. Gamora, how high up this thing can you climb? Let's find out! Are you relishing this moment, assassin? What moment? Visiting the grave of your enemies. See anything useful up there? I got eyes on this dumped up reactor. A couple of shots are coming down. All right. Pretty sure that baby's our ticket upward. Somehow. It is neither a baby nor a ticket. It is a reactor. Drax, moving that thing around ain't a problem, right? It is not. Just like the mighty Lady Hellbender, I am exceptionally muscular. Got it, Drax. This unit is tremendously heavy. I thought you were exceptionally muscular. Yes! That is why I can easily carry this great weight. What next, Peter Quill? Can you get up there now? Should only take a second. Hey, Quill, am I giving the old girl a stand? Bring back memory! <laughs> Impressive. See? That was easy. Great teamwork, everyone. I am Groot. I helped in spirit. <laughs> All right. Slippery wind bubble treetops, here we come. You know, I uh, really admire our team's commitment to safety. One thing is clear. We would never have accomplished this task without the assassin. Did Drax just praise Gamora? I am giving credit where credit is due. Took you long enough. We all know Gamora's super cool and super valuable. And she has not yet tried to kill us. How come you never give me credit for anything? Like he said, he gives credit where credit is due. There it is! Lady Hellbender's fortress! It's got bigger, that's for sure. Ha! <laughs> it is not getting bigger. We are getting closer. Thanks, Drax. What's Captain distracted up to now? He calls us over. I'm done. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Guys, there's this totally sweet pile of crap on the ground. So interesting. Let's all stick our fingers in it. Looks like there's a way down here. Quill, you gotta see this. <sighs> okay, here we oh. go. Slimy. Uh, guys. You might want to wait to come down here. Oh, why the Flarkus is so deep? In a jam voice? <clears throat> you think? Some schmack breach! 
sword will not work, woman. Find us a rope. Yeah, it fast. Where am I supposed to find a rope? I don't know. I'm sinking in jelly here. Well, do something. Like what? Well, done that once before when I was a kid. I don't do it on purpose. Classic Spartoi tech. Just when you think you've seen it all, you pull Scott like this. Just, could you, just... Please, let, let me, go let me, I, I, well, I just want to see how they tick, otherwise it might as well be magic. Or sorcery. Guys. DNA cord is some kind of morphing animal. Or sorcery. Here we go again. up and over. Ding, ding, ding! Give that man a gold star! Let's figure out how to make it climbable. Stars are made of hydrogen, not gold. The planetoid. 